Welcome in to our Squad Ops One Life Operation. We have Operation Whirlwind today. Whirlwind. Uh, it's a bit of a different take on Whirlwind than we've done in the past. Whirlwind has always been on Kohat. It's always been attacking the radio. I don't think it's always been during a, a sandstorm. So today is going to be a little bit different than the Whirlwinds we've run in the past. Um, we'll go over the, some of those differences right now, but... The larger picture, as far as Whirlwind goes, uh, U.S. is going to start over in C6, Charlie 6. They can use some bridges uh, to cross, although that's, not, that's less relevant today for some reasons we'll go into in just a second. Um, but they're attacking Radio Tower. There's an INS prop on Radio Tower. This is pretty straightforward. U.S. are going to attack and hold the Radio Tower. INS are going to defend. INS have uh, some... Fortifications on Radio Tower, they get two times HMG, one time SPG, and fortifications. Um, but the Sandstorm, as you can see, has limited visibility significantly. About 200 meters of visibility um, at the very extent. We got players spawning in now. <laughs> Dashby has finally reached the audible zone. The frequencies are now hearable for beings other than dogs. Hi, Hater. Hi, Lima. Alright, guys. guys. Nothing to worry, really. Up. Let's, uh, let's get this over and done with. Right. Um, okay. Uh, welcome to Operation Whirlwind. Sorry about the delay. We have a technical issue with spawning in some shit. Um, I don't know. Um, Alright, so pretty simple attack defense, we're on the defense this round. Um, the way it's going to work is we're going to place, uh, essentially play like uh, uh, cardinal points on this. Uh, so we'll have a squad in the north, that will be Killer J. We'll have a squad in the south, that will be uh, Dash B. Um, we'll have one in the east, which is Hedda, and we'll have one on the point and sort of covering the, the, the west um, in Raggy. Uh, Decrim's team is going to be split, um, or essentially roving outside. Uh, Golf 10, 9 is going to be his initial sort of move marker. And then, um, yeah, he's going to just sort of slink around, uh, try and get eyes on people early, stop and try and do some crazy flank. Um, <clears throat> in a settling, if they try and cross the river, you know, do like cool James Bond shit, you know? Um, yeah, pretty simple, not much, not much to this. Um, visibility is obviously atrocious, so uh, if you have grenades, remember that you have them. Uh, and remember the like things like key terrain. Um, have an AR look down gullies and shit, because uh, yeah, they're going to be right on top of us by the time we see them. Any questions? All right, good stuff. Go your squad leads. Uh, we'll be going live momentarily. Still missing a squad. Uh, Welcome to Operation Whirlwind. Um, we're going to just get uh, started. The filthy Americans attacking the friendly radio station today. Um, we're gonna split our attack um, with a small one, small uh, distraction coming from the northwest and the main assault coming from the east. Um, at live, we're gonna walk a direct east along the sixth line. Yeah, well, let's get homies. Trying to stay out of visual range. That will not be very hard with this uh, visibility. We have about 200 meters of effective visibility at the moment. Uh, when we get to around the H6 mark, um, Alpha Guido squad is going to break off to the south and uh, prepare a uh, distraction on the northwest of the th uh, point. The rest of the squad and platoon are going to continue east to around Kilo 6 and head south from there. Uh, the three attack squads uh, led by... Uh, Revy, Stevo, and uh, let's see, Revy, Stevo, and Obol are gonna set up around their main town, clear it, and uh, get ready for uh, Hovis to get in position on the south. So we're gonna basically exploit the weak point, which is currently marked by a fob creation marker. From what we've seen, that's the most cover we're gonna get in terms of concealment and hills to uh, try to get unscathed on top of that mountain. 
we have uh, visibility to our advantage, um, being that we can move quite easily without getting spotted. Um, once we get to that main town, they're probably going to have someone in it. Um, from there on, we got to pick up the speed and uh, get in position. Around the time when we enter the main town, Alpha Guido is going to start opening fire from the northwest with his squad. There are also a lot of small bushes on that hillside on the northwest, which he's going to use to his advantage trying to uh, confuse them about an exact number of his uh, unit on the northwest. He's going to stay there and try not to take too many casualties until the main force from the east has got a good foothold on the fob creation marker. Any questions? Great, either I didn't speak enough good enough English or uh, I didn't speak well English. Yeah, I don't know. Solid, uh, great. <laughs> that was good, boss. Let's break him out and get ready for live. Okay, no hablo inglés. Okay, we do. Ah. Okay. Mainly, the guys are going to be ramping around east side with one element distracting northwest. Pretty strong, pretty strong, uh, pretty strong uh, plan. I think it's pretty strong. The 200 meter limitation obviously is going to be countered by. We see some marks here. Looks like we might have some forces pull off. So Alpha Squad, I'm assuming they're going to be around here. So seven. Attacking, or maybe even here, uh, Indy 8, attacking south. I think the, main the distraction squad might be spotted, depending on how early they cut off here. Kind of We're not sure about all of INS's maneuvers. Up in the air, just like you don't care. But I imagine it's going to be significant. They're definitely going to move off the hill. Five squads on five squads. I imagine we'll see a squad here to tell 8. This little village has a nice shelf that lines around it. I, I I would imagine they also push out to India eight here, India eight six. I like the story time. We saw I think I saw an arrow, maybe not. Uh, we might be getting uh, eyes on hotel nine nine, maybe even this hill. Give them a few minutes. Lots of folks. There's some arrows pointed down here as well. So I mean, they might be using uh, U.S. might be using these hills to move around, but there are some options, so. Lots of options for U.S. forces here. For this or next month? Stand by. Oh, we're live, by the way. Oh, we're playing the game. I mean, it is, it's close to the end of the month, so we may just be waiting on... Uh... Yeah, you're right. There's no basics on the calendar. But keep checking the calendar. Squadops.gg slash calendar. Uh, we're live with round one. Let's go, Daddy. Let's go. When I get to my position, I have to wait as long. Oh my hey, gosh. Really hang back, Mr. Medic. If he says anything cringe, I'm just going to talk to him. But I'd rather not, because <laughs> I like being able to ban. No. We don't immediately ban. Now, if you talk after death, you get yelled at. Medic, man, you can pull your gun out. But here we go. I'm going to talk to him. I mean, I could, but I shouldn't. Mar the round is yeah. live. They changed it to reflect current the current world situation. <laughs> Wouldn't feel right coming from, you know. Uh, Fubar has a question. Do I have to go through side of the operation as vehicles like IVs, tanks, or helicopters? Um, I will tell you three things about those. Uh, first of all, uh, no, there's no special course to run. There's no special course to run a vehicle in a in an operation. Am I allowed to talk about? Secondly, tanks are going to be super rare in operations because they have so much offensive power and uh, optics capability that uh, it goes counter to how we design our events. Thirdly. 
a uh, that a non-staff yeah. member will never operate a helicopter yeah. in a pilot it role. Fucking, it was fucking cool. That's all I'm gonna say. We restrict piloting helicopters to a very limited cadre of uh, staff members who have uh, proven their helicopter flight capability. Our management. Sharp. All notes to go into monster events. We sure do. Uh, our mods are. We have a couple different mods. We have a map set mod. Now, that gives us modded layers like this. Uh, we also have a mod set that uh, modifies kits. Like five. That takes away optics. Five pieces of licorice in your mouth? Well, what's a piece of li licorice to you? A couple of couple right, right millimeters five. wide. Uh, that takes away optics for most kits. Uh, as well as changes the price for certain things to rearm with. It makes grenades much more expensive to rearm off a rifleman ammo bag, for instance. Maybe I could fit a lot of licorice in my mouth. Do you even know what? Oh my gosh. Now I just want to yell at these people. <laughs> Mainly a pilot wanted to join up reason. Yeah, that's, that's not going to be realistic unless you... Um, <laughs> No, no. I Unless you uh, apply to join staff, join staff, and then go through the helicopter certification. Really every fucking time. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's, he's moving. moving. Hey, nuts. chicken. Chicken, did you grab your water? What okay. on earth is happening? U.S. are moving out to assault Hobbit oh, okay. Radio Tower. Matter of fact, we're within uh, visual or within radar distance. The spectator camera difference. INS forces have moved off the point. Um... U.S. forces are attacking from Charlie 6, the radio tower at India 9. Uh, there's a FOB here. They have to dismantle the FOB and hold out for um, uh, until all the INS presence has been suppressed in the area. Um, yeah, no optics. Zero optics in a squad ops operations. Like, the only optics you'll ever see in a squad ops operation may be on an emplacement, maybe in a vehicle. And even then, the vehicle optics have been nerfed. I know several vehicles that have uh, like a coax, just like a simple uh, auto cannon. That that maybe in vanilla have like a simple like two x or a three x zoom. It's been removed. Binos. Nah. Um, I think only FTLs and squad leaders will have binos. You know those like they do have one x optics. So things like red dots are an option available to riflemen. I don't know, man. Cats and medics. Gross. Yeah. And I think most specialty kits come with uh, 1x yeah, sights. You see here, the squad lead has a uh, M203 no. on the end of his uh, M4. I, I it's only going to be for smokes. The reason for the no optics balance. So someone doesn't snipe you at like 400 meters away. I'm a big fan of these. Well, it's a one life event, so you can't get revived. So we maximize survivability, or we maximize, not not so much maximize, but we try to make it so it's a little bit more fair. So uh, I think it's a lot more fair to die in a firefight 50 meters away. Um, Do you put even on a map like, even, discarding the weather <laughs> that we have here. <laughs> if you die in a firefight 50 meters away, you're bad because your aim sucks, right? Um, weird white people if you die because you got yeah. Sighted by a marksman at 600 meters away, and you have no reasonable way to counter it. Yeah. A sniper, let's just say we have a lot of good shots in the community, and someone could easily end a squad. It's a fun walk. Which means that uh, there could be several, several uh, minutes of, uh, of not being able to participate in the operation. Tactics. That's not terrible. Uh, Rubba's got a great point here, emphasizing tactics over being a great shot. Great, being a great it's shot is you know not unimportant, yeah, but yeah, like that. it's uh, That's fair. you know being given uh, an operation you know parameters by a commander and executing the orders from a squad leader. I not tell the difference. How did there's not you know there's not zero ways for a. Uh, for a non-reg or non-reg or uh, anyone that doesn't have a tag to participate as a leader in the operation, you could be an FTL. 
He volunteers in FTL, you get squad leader Continue. after the squad leader dies. So there's a chance that uh, you can end up manning that element. Uh, we're getting closer to contact here. About 400 meters away from Killer J squad. Um, Hovis leading the leading the snake here. Reminder that the fog might be a uh, might be about 200 meters of visibility. U.S. forces are still moving out. I don't think we've seen the split off yet. There was going to be a northwest extraction element. I think that's Alpha. He's at the trail of the formation. And Armand does other things too, like remove, uh, <laughs> like remove the time limit and the stamina limit from being able to steady shots. So I mean, you know, uh, there's there's a little bit for everyone, I think. Well, I mean, fog, I mean, fog effects and whatever. We were talking about the actual technical limitations so to build. and implications of the fog earlier, the fog effect earlier. But it's definitely a sandstorm. It's gonna be one hell of a fucking push. They got two dish guys on an SPG. Let's see. We, we see two dish guys like built. I'm strongly outgunned here. Like this doesn't make any sense to me. We should I at know, least have like Humvees. Uh, look at that. Intermediate shocks with it. Uh, it's possible. Uh, <laughs> it almost happened to me yesterday when I played some squad with Voidog. So, 100% uh, possible. See some of the INS positions here. Prone, not skylining. When you get Very the smart. Mountain up here, just head down south. Right now, where this is the closest contact, about 200 meters, but there's a hill in the way. I was gonna head down the road. My immersion, Arv. Immersion. Is there a mic or is there your? Your immersion's in check, my guy. So we can come I'm back around. Oh, seriously? I just, mm. uh, I just got a um. M-Track Duo, so I can finally use the XLR mic that I got like months ago. It's pretty, it's pretty, uh, pretty sick. Yeah, immersion. What are the odds they're hiding in here? He's really funny. Quite low. But not zero. Uh, we're not in a public server, Cameron. This is a closed event, so it's protected by a password, and but, yeah. you yeah. need to be you need to have basic in order to join. XLR adapters and uh, you know XLR phantom powered mics. They're pretty good, guys. XLR adapters. The XLR to USB is what? gotten pretty cheap. The people that made sense and the it, you know you don't have to like run a mixer to your computer you just buy a little thing i have a blue icicle i've had that for years and uh oh i just got a stimulus check we got it would your parents take it well yeah but then they wanted me to file my taxes to get all the other ones so i my taxes are super fucking complicated though, because ROTC. Right. U.S. Force is still running. Uh, so this was the closest contact uh, we possibly had. We can see the uh, distraction element actually running out now, and they are getting online. So I think they're holding position. They might be getting ready to sweep here. This is Alpha's distraction squad. This is north. This is going to be deployed northwest of the point. Up the hill, there's like a cluster of like dark right side of that. You can see his head <gasps> jutting out of the darkness a bit. They actually have eyes on. I, someone's 
skylining on the hill. See the rest of the team to catch up. They see squad five. They see Killer J and a, and a fire team. And I think they have eyes on Lima Bean. One, five, two. There's like a little dark patch. He's on the rightmost side of that. Hold on. Don't fire yet. Let me fucking line up on this guy so we can fire simultaneously. I'm lined up whenever you are. U.S.'s first catch of the day, potentially. Lima Bean's dead. One more is also gone. Two. So that's three dead for this fire team. Killer J survives. CNC 3000 also live, and they pull back from the uh, hilltop. CNC in a less desirable position. He's pushing to look for contact. Killer, or uh, CNC wants to peek these guys. Alpha's, uh, Alpha's surprise element, Alpha's distraction element actually could be, uh, could be pretty strong with the distraction here, but it looks like we got Killer J falling back. There's a squad lead across the river. What is this position? This is the entire INS, uh, disposition right now. Um, squad lead and a fire team are moving north. They're going to cross the river and river and come back east. Squad one is also completely pulling out. Looks like they're falling back to the radio. West. Squad four and the command, Blackbeard, as a fire team, and, uh, uh, north of the radio. Look, they're expecting a northern attack now. Perhaps squad one falling back north is a fire team. Also southeast, Say again, William. far southeast. Twisties got a uh, couple of riflemen. Head south. Try to hit them again from the southwest. Hmm. U.S. very, very taken a super wide, e uh, super east uh, Copy. route here. There's going to be no visual between these two points. No chance. Well, that's the first casualties. Looks like uh, U.S. got out of it whole. Three kills for U.S. We're going to go back down here and uh, check out the... Uh, Comes afterward. <laughs> and now he has to sit out for like an hour and a half while we fucking run around. Doesn't look like it looked like Alpha or it looked like Lima was looking directly at him. But I don't think they noticed because of all the foliage here. I don't think they noticed Alpha's element getting to the bench or getting to the ditch. Yeah, because the ditch was over here. I'm gonna think. Yeah, the ditch was here. Yeah, this is a pretty awesome position to approach from, especially because all this foliage blocks a lot of visibility from the hill, which I will find in just a second. Yeah, the hill over here. So much foliage in the way. No chance that these guys had a chance to be uh, were, had a chance to be seen approaching from that direction. Decrum has a squad. He's reforming his entire squad. I think they might be pushing north here. Alpha's falling back. They might be trying to take this hill. If not, then Alpha's going to pull off to the east here and probably wrap around and head straight towards Killer J's position now. Squad 1, which is all the way to the south, southwest, Just so short. pushing through, going to reinforce the north side here. Off right, because it's right next to the point. Yes, it is. And it looks like, yeah, Alpha is going to push around west side hill here. But we're going to see another engagement. You should not be placing move markers. After left. That was placed before star, uh, for live. Okay. Well, we're moving around there to get to the, on their southwest and hit them yeah, again. Um, four and four, seven, five. This is a one life event. So these guys are out until the next round. And we're definitely going to have contact over here. Decrim's element moving north. Londart's on point. Visibility about at 200 meters. So we're within visibility range shortly, but you got to stop and look at this distance. And there's also instruction in the way of the hill. Don't get shot. It's going to be the first to crest this hill. And lawn darts and kimchi are hiding behind some foliage. Shots fired. God damn it. it was an ND. My, my mouse. My mouse stopped working. All right. Are they? We're, we're maneuvering. They're in the bush. That's fine. That's my mistake. 
My mouse just froze up, so I, I just instinctively clicked it to see if it would... Kerr has moved past. Ele U.S. Element is moving past. Lawn darts and kimchi here. Don't get shot. Is... Just walked into kimchi and lawn darts there. And also the INS element might be providing some suppression. Frags. Frags hit rather Scottish chap in uh, Gordo. But they're going to be able to bandage unless there's a second follow-up frag. Not like you get, uh... I'll keep on going up. I'm going to move. Uh, what you call it? Feedback on grenades. My FPL. We're trying to bust two. We're trying to disengage. Oh. And rather Scottish chap loses Gordo. He's stuck here. INS have a pretty strong position. Elevation. Alpha Guido's just completely pulled back. Scottish is just stuck. Uh, Lawn Dart's trying to move for some elevation. INS also has elevation on him. Uh, might be a gate. Might be able to just barely see him. Oh, Scottish is going to run for it. He makes it to a better position. Uh oh. Friendly fire? Get up and run! Oh my giddy act. Come on. INS bullet landing a meter behind Scottish there. Flipping the top of that uh, top of that ridge line. Scottish able to pull out. So uh, US takes their first casualties here. The JK line. The Yulia Kilo line. Uh, two kills for INS. That's going to be in a couple minutes. We'll check back there in a tick. Can be advised. I lost two in that engagement, but if all went well, they thought they probably thought we uh, are two separate squads up here, so they might be focusing more on the west northwest now. Uh, would you take a look at that? Three squads on the five radius defending. Actually, this is the radio tower here, so three squads now defending radio tower, and they have definitely have a north and northwest posture. In a couple minutes. There's only a fire. There's only a, a light fire team in the in the east here. We're gonna, cause I gotta go wide around this contact now, cause we we got ambushed. So oh, it looks like they're gonna. Looks like Alpha's gonna take these guys across the river. No mobility restrictions for uh for US. Uh, ultimately, the area around Gulf Seven Three Five. Gulf. 7, All right, we're gonna zoom over here to the east side because it looks like Squad Three, Squad Five are gonna run into this uh this uh ob observation element. Seven Two Three, but we only killed a buddy team up there. Got Koba, Sasa, and Abyss. Hanging out. Kilo, eight, one, seven, enemy contact, three. And Oddball has eyes on. Kilo, Cop, one, seven, copy. Oddball has eyes on someone skylining. Dirty boy. No, dude, it's fucking... Can you find Listen, I can barely see that? him, but I... I... Let's try to get four... U.S. skylining in return. Five and three. Tracers are going to give them away once they start firing. They can start clearing the main town. Of course, everyone else has to see it too. Dentrick looks like he's got an FTL kit and he's got Binox. So he's looking. Abyss is moving around up there. Good. You can barely see Sasa. You can barely see Sasa, and I wonder if they got spotted because I wonder if they knew they got spotted. Koba and Abyss and Sasa are now abandoning the, the high ground there. And they're even running away. There looks like they're bugging out west. I don't think there were any shots exchanged here, so they must have just barely been able to see it. They must have seen everyone's skyline over here try to look for him. They are falling back. Part of squad three, that's part of head of squad. Very slow with these contacts this close. Meanwhile, west side, Killer J pulled his guys back. How close are they? 100 meters, 300. To the western bob limit. Directly on the, uh, the nice sliding hill here. It leads down to the town in Hotel 8. We're going to be skylining if we peek over. Yeah. Or uh, did he just move across? Right, we're gonna stay right here nah. since we're in this little like. He is stationary in that position. Oddball still calling the target as if they're stationary. They've definitely moved off 200 meters now. 
I don't see shit. Yeah, that's in this bush. Yeah, if they skyline that shit, we'll be hey. able to see them, but... Yeah, yeah you're listen, free. Hey, you're out directly west. Yes. US have called free fire on targets if they're visible. Currently. Yeah, they're uh, crawling around. How long are we gonna wait here? They keep popping their heads up and down. What's the plan? Okay. Uh, now that... Uh, he went behind the uh, hill. I don't see him anymore. Orph oh, actually saw them run away. Okay. Orf, he might get... Okay. So, so yeah. 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 For First on position, yeah, so, uh... Yeah. Looks like Logi runs have stopped. 1600 build remain on the point. Might be in reserve to rebuild one of the guns if they wanted to move them. Yeah, no one guns are pointed north, but they're tripods, so they get 360 traversal. Alright, here we go. William leading uh, Stevo's squad. Revy, are you ready to engage to us? Yeah, I'm going to push along the north side here. They got two squads here. On the southeast side, pushing in. Alpha might have a really awesome lane to get in here, but it might get shut up, cut off from the uh, the north here. LJ could pin him against the uh, hillside here at Hilltail 96. Shoot him, boys. Oddball. And Oddball has ordered line fire. I don't know what. But the rounds are actually going far enough. They could actually, uh... The rounds are going so far, they're going right above Twisty, Reaper, and Apocalypse here. This is command for one. Uh, go ahead, command. Uh, no new contacts, uh... uh Decorum still has his squad out here. here. So Decorum is still... I guess he's looking for that contact, for Alpha Guido contact. Hotel 96, get bearing on what's going on, and then from there we'll push on a radio if needed. Cut that, Hotel 96. West getting really close here in the southeast, and I think <laughs> these are the guys that were on the observation point before. Oh, we're below. These are the guys that were punched out to the east here. They're trying to find a different position to hold, to watch out at. You can see U.S. forces are getting closer, and here they go. Julia 951, look out face, uh, looking for us southwest. So they're going to be looking at you too. One. Yeah. Decker, or William has eyes on the um, got, got contact it. here. Low, looks like we got contact, squad one. Four, can I get an MG2 command? I have. Eyes on the oh no, it's the it's these guys in the north still shooting. Oh, it's so weird. It's so weird to see right now. Enemy contact, J9. Oh, they're running straight up on him. Oh my gosh. I gotta get eyes on this. Even eyes, where are you? Here we go. Sauce is dead. J981. Enemies pressing the hill, J9. Abyss and Koba is still here. I think they just realized. I don't think they know they're getting shot from back. But there is... Oh my gosh, this is great. These guys have not shot yet. Pipe Funk and Imanaz running around. Imanaz gets LARPG'd by Bartok. Bartok with the RPG puts a frag round straight into Imanaz and deletes him from the game. Looks like a frag kill killed Bags. Just down to Abyss and Kobo over here. And Abyss is in a bad position. He's probably getting shot, but Sharpie just gets zinged by Koba. Koba returning fire. It's not good. This is grand for three. The blue horseshoe. Yeah, it's kind of uh, wide. It's, you know, Ready. 600 meters, all told. And plus, over here, Seven. Alpha. Is now engaging Kuba, Incinerator Clayton probably next to go, but it looks like they took casualties coming up the hill. We had guys on the ridge and myself. We don't know if they're Gonzo guy's been hit. And he's dead. That's he's dead. Contact at India 9, 3 I think he got tapped down by Viper. Viper falling back up the hill. That, but this is the foothold that the US needs to start approaching from. But it's also got INS's attention. Squad 1 is spreading out on top of the hill. Oba is still up and maneuvering, but they're all U.S. are also walking up on him. Press saw him. Press killed Koba. 
Abyss is still hanging out. It's still getting suppressed. And there we go. Long, long, long. Abyss goes down. The Super Spitfire, Free Stalker, and Dentric. Bartok still throwing lats. Dentric saw it. Red smoke overshot. Nope, maybe it didn't. Five and a three then. It kind of did, but there's the red smoke. Actually, the first one really didn't. Bartok is just sitting there with the Lodgy, and he's rearming all the rockets. This is round one, Gimli. The U.S. attack is just now being realized. Alpha is still... Alpha's pulled back. Looks like he lost another man, but he's down to five over on the west side. And Incinerator Clayton got away. Squad three in the north. Making big moves, pushing out by themselves. But they have concealment. They are pushing through the trees and through the uh, field here. That gives them a lot of concealment. And they've snuck in underneath INS's noses. INS have a fire team size element watching the ridge line here, but I don't think they have enough uh, depression down the hill. They don't have observation down the hill. Bro, contact, contact. That's close. Grenades coming down the hill. Everybody to me, everybody to me. Nobody died, but everyone is extremely hurt. And uh, Wolfie friggin' died. Alright, he's bandaging himself. I thought he was bandaging Wolfie there for a second. I was like, what are you doing? You can't revive. Didn't have to say anything. U.S. Assault starting to go show some progress. They've cleared out southeast side, but there's still a lot of INS to go. Here comes squad two. Paladin, uh, what happened to Decrum? Question mark, question mark, question mark. They're reinforcing north side. It looks like they might be sweeping along. This would be a perfect sweep for INS to take. Proceed from Juliet 9-8. Or 8 9 and straight, uh, straight southeast. This hill will get them in straight into the line that they could use to sweep the entire US line. It would be a little bit too late for US to actually react to that. However, US in the south are in the hills. Now it's hilltop to hilltop fighting. But smokes are now being used to uh, help communicate enemy positions. I think INS have uh, blue smoke uh, GL as well. Making progress up the hill. Greenpeace now the closest to the objective. While Revy's guys in the north are still hung up and Decrum's remainder are slowly coming through. There's a lot of fire over here and it's giving away US's position. Londart's on point again with kimchi. Shred Turtle is just shooting out of hilltops indiscriminately. Reloading. Lots of suppression yeah, happening. I'm already, I'm, I'm running low on ammo. It's not good. Suppression is nice, but... Five, can you, uh, go and, and it seems to have driven everyone off the ridge line. However, Oddball is about to come to terms with a fire team to his north. Libs down. Here we go, Reaper's dead. They come up over the hill, Greenpeace gets traded for Reaper. Two and one. Can you Apocalypse still looking down the hill in the wrong direction, and, uh, but get the, uh, I wonder if Dorf will see this guy. Just above the tree line, might not actually be able to see him through the concealment. Yeah, the Dorf is looking this direction though, if he stands up, he's gone. Oh, Grenades being thrown. That was a miss. However, over here, William FBD, the command goes down. Looks like a grenade. He tried to lead the assault up the hill. U.S. getting really close. Alpha needs to get into the fight here, and Hovis needs to get forward moving, but he's pinned by a small fire team. Incinerator Clayton goes down, but it's just Nix and Greg Pants holding these guys back. Greg Pants throws a grenade. This could be good. And it would have killed Coops if he hadn't been shot first. Can you make progress right north? Far south, uh, far southwest. 
Killer J is, it looks like he's engaging Alpha Skies on a hillside thing. Phil 9 and CNC are gonna run around and try to sneak up the hill. Steve-O now thrust into a command as he is second in the command. Rest goes down. Madman Pete eats a grenade. Oh, fuck. I think they're getting shot. I think he got shot. Apocalypse actually fell down the hill. I guess that's pretty smart. And Revy is now getting flanked by Squad 2. He fell back quite a bit, but uh, Shred Turtle, Jamar, and Salty Toast are kind of stuck out here. Yeah, just keep that. Yeah, I'm covering the door. Down. Revy made progress towards the Lodgy. Let's go. We're gonna go Everybody fast. who's on the oh, east side way. needs to pop smoke, and we need to try and move east. Let's move west. Holy shit. I'm, I'm yeah. Steve-O wants a... Steve-O wants a priority move here. Be advised, I lost another... I'm down to just oh, a buddy team and maybe. myself. Uh, we still got Update is 19 kills for US, 24 for INS. Numbers them. slowly coming down. Alpha getting uh, Alpha getting cut down to size, down to three, and is trying to loop around. He's going to loop around south side and try to link up with friendly forces and get on this line to push. We keep up the aggression here. We're getting we're stalling out much. They're going to change the angle of attack? I just hear? There's only like three or four people actually putting shots on them from the hilltop itself. INS still have a lot in reserve. Squad 2 is still pushing through and they're probably going to get slowed down by these buildings here. They probably have more success going hilltop to hilltop here um, as they... They just go straight south. North, Dash B still has a full squad on the point itself. Probably not. Grenades are going to have to be on INS or US's side for it to be good enough. There's still a lot of INS we know any chance you can get further west. in the hill. Uh, three just got fucked up from their west, so negative. We're just sending a bit closer to you guys and still trying to get, like, through security. Alright, copy that. Alpha's made it to the front, though. Close. Your Mosin's going off. Any movement gets shot at from up top the hill. Kind of surprised there hasn't been any uh, friendly fires yet. RPG... I didn't... I didn't see any casualties there. But they're returning fire. Oh, a frag round flies over top of Frevy's Red Turtle and Jamar. And now they're taking INS frags from below them. They're still in a bad position if, uh, I think if Waters, I think he was the lag gunner there. If the RPG finds the shelf, that's three dead players. Shred Turtle gets hit in AR from Headbuster. Finally able to come down. To casualties. Probably an MG3. Uh, MG, uh, yeah, MG3. Scooting west. RPG takes out Xcron. More smoke. And the US push is definitely fizzling. There's too many people off the line. They're not making progress. Squad one, on the other hand, pushing towards silent. Chicken's just... Chicken may have been already dead. I don't think silent sees these guys below the ridge line. Alpha's trying to skirt the ridge line very carefully, but yeah, silent is going to see someone come up this ridge. Silent's looking the right way. We did take contact from the south, yeah. Head further down the hill. Uh-oh. Keep moving. Is that friendly fire? Yeah, that might be friendly fire. Radio tower. Me. Yep, head down the hill. We're gonna keep moving. Silent heard, definitely heard that GL go off. Her throwing more smoke. Looks like this cliff. A line of sight. Put some smoke down. Oddball also. 
adding smoke. He's going to circle around to the west side here. I just... Wait a second. Be careful peeking. I just want you to put suppressor towards radio. Maybe silence turn towards. More fire coming in as uh, Squad 2 starting to collapse on U.S. right flank. Squad size force. Not able to survive on the side of the hill for much longer. INS are starting to really make that sweep. I believe I'm in charge at this point in time. Right, we've got an attack with the Alpha Guido on the right. Healthy toast. Can't see Honu in time. Not able to put the gun down. And Honu gets the kill. Well, it's still living here. Oddball. All good kill. Oddball. Uptown looking for a warrior that probably. Alpha Guido, however, west side. Four in tow. Be advised we're on the sandbags on the north side of radio. Knuck up. And has eyes on the radio. I nest left the left. Left the west flank open. Oh, bad news. That's close. I'm in. Yep. Kerr with the throw could get a lot of kills here, but he throws a little bit far off. Southeast. Kerr have a second grenade? Nope. Cartel gets tagged, but Kerr goes down. Kerr, no! Alpha Guido. Gotta make a count. He's running up on Dashby. Dash B gets hit. Fuck you, you killed my lover. Okay. And Javi. Uh, Cartel takes a shot at Alpha Guido. He takes two bullets. Alpha's got a bandage immediately. And here comes the bandage. I'm Meanwhile, uh, Daedric, or Dentric, or Daedric, gets tagged. Javi's going to peek the hill. And, I, oh, it looked like Alpha actually bled out. Unfortunate. Viper takes out Gaming Wolf. And this west, uh, west approach is gone. Down postscriptum? Not for a little bit. We have in the past. Not recently. Flame Mage. Walked up on by Viper. And the US push is definitely fizzled. Uh, Silas is alive, and Lagar is also southeast here. Silas and Lagar, two US remaining. It's just you and me, Silas. Silas says silent to deal with. I could definitely hear him. I think Silas tried to take some shots. Like I was going to fall back to Silas and they're going to make a two-man push of it. Do what they can. Uh, squad size force on top of the hill plus squad size force uh, sweeping. About a two squad size force for me. Oh, we just got pushed to the point. It's just us two. Yeah. No. Uh, Silas is just going to start going bush to bush here. Oh, did he see silent? No, Silas is suppressing north. Oh, we saw Silent! But the tracers betray him. Silas goes down. AR cuts him down from the top of the hill. I'm fucked. True. RPG now being added for... For, uh... To make sure that goes... Uh, Lagar throws a frag a little short. I guess he thought Silent was closer. Silent's gonna see... RPGs now being fired on last known position of enemy contact. Fractured asking for an analysis. How the U.S. got crippled. The North sweep. I think it's two things. There was a uh, there was an idea to sweep west for U.S. That happened as Alpha tried to get back into uh, contact. That I think more U.S. people should have picked up on. To continue sweeping west from southeast of the radio tower might have been uh, a better play. More people would have gotten to the top of the hill. Could have been good. Uh, but it was obviously the extra squad, the extra NS squad of uh, Dent or was it Squad 2, Decrum squad that Paladin's now running that, you know, has really, really forced U.S.'s hand. Uh, Silent might see him. Eh, maybe not. Oh, I silently definitely see him. There's definitely a lot of uh, stuff in the way. 
but I think they're collapsing in this position. Fire team up the hill. I think Legar gets spotted here. Got spotted by Nayar by Headbuster. And Legar, a silent pilot, tried to take him shots and missed. Comes out of cover for a clear shot, and Legar goes down. That's that. GG for round one. 31 kills for US, but 47 for INS. Two squad margin of victory there for INS on the radio tower. And with that, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back I'll get him next. for round two. All right, good stuff. All right, well done last round, good defense. Uh, got a bit hectic, it was uh, a little bit close, which was nice. Um, hopefully, uh, hopefully you can just barrel through them this, uh, this time around. It's gonna be pretty simple. Um, essentially, uh, we're taking these three trucks, we're moving off live for the whole platoon, uh, roughly following uh, the Western MSR, heading south through an IS main, heading west, uh, get to that wider section in Delta 12, one and then heading east uh that line is uh roughly where we're going to dismount um and then we're essentially going to platoon push um on the south side of that sort of mini tributary valley um with the northernmost squad being dashby and the southernmost squad being uh killer killer j um we're going to try and keep it fairly tight because, as you can see from this IED mark, I reckon they're going to stick an OP up there like we did last round. Um, so the key thing is, is um, we're going to try and uh, smash uh, the platoon through across the river, uh, defeating contact quickly mm -hmm. until we get onto the other side. Um, from there, uh, we want to try and head uh, pivot north and then attack from the cliffs, India 954. Okay, because that will allow you to get as close as possible um, and allow you to, to push up on. The key thing here is going to be moving quickly, right? Um, if you do come across contact, just try and overwhelm it. Don't get bogged down in a firefight. Every, you know, if we take contact on the south side of the river, um, every minute that goes past is the time for them to react. So I need maximum aggression, okay? Any questions? So we're not circling, we're just gonna overwhelm them on one side, on one side. Yeah, we're gonna defeat in detail, we're gonna smash do, through, we're gonna do... and take the, take the point proper. It's a blitz. Cool. We're gonna, yeah, yeah blitz. Exactly. it's a blitz, yeah, instead of blitz. going right. around and around poking them. Any other questions? You mentioned we're let's gonna... Let's kick ass. Yo. Yeah, let's kick ass. Sorry, whatever. go ahead, Buster. Whatever. You good? Uh, we're taking uh, a vehicle. We're taking a vehicle. I thought we were just... Yes, we were these, just doing these two bike. trucks, bike. because we need to get, uh, we're allowed to take these, we'll start closer. Um, I decided to take these. Um, I prefer to use speakers. I will have. Um, I will nominate uh, Raggy and one of his dudes to uh, sit in the trucks, uh, and they will be just he's third in the line. They'll just sit back, just so that we can. We'll only drop the trucks when we make contact. So we'll once we get out of the trucks, they're going to appear on the map, and like it or not, everyone's going to know where we are. So. Blackbeard, could I take my yeah, own truck, yeah, get out a bit early around Fox 5, Fox 10, sorry, don't and just kill, check please. that hill? I don't, I just don't want to go up the hill and get shot in the back. Get shot I just, I'll get you, the north uh, moment, north the most. To, um, to that point, Dash, yeah, I, I get that, but also there's only like 200 meters of visibility, and I'd rather we not get seen on the south side of the river. Okay. I'll go far west. They said live 742, so... Yep, we're live! Here we go! And... We said we should try to be more mindful about our comms. I'm gonna make sure to speak over you whenever you try to talk. Okay, thank you. A walk. Here we go. That's what we're looking for in, uh, in comms. too bad when there's only two, but when there's three of us, it just kind of makes it hard. What happened to Seneca? He dropped. You see? <laughs> What'd you say, Saber? Don't we all like it hard? Okay, you know what? No. Well, if it's soft, it ain't working then, yeah. brother. The stream, oh my gosh. The stream is on Steam. Yeah. 
Yeah, well, I could talk to you guys too. How you guys doing? <laughs> I'm so much clipped. Uh, you know, uh, I'm reporting. Well, that means you have to be on the front line. Yeah, you get those yeah, you I'm in. I'm using my drone. That? Go right? Okay. Good memes. Good memes. Love to see an attack I see succeed. Too. Yeah, donut. Does the donut. I would as well. I won't flip, don't worry. What? Actually, I think that's He should flip though. That would be funny. Yo, Blackbeard. Still seeing Logi run. Uh, they've moved another 2k build up and looks like. I wonder if these are going to be like pure. Uh... Nope, look, they're building more sandbags. More sandbags being built by the by the dozens. Excavator trying to push it. <laughs> yeah. Bro, he drew a penis <laughs> like before it went in the canal. Tried, man. Go over the hills because their mains on the road. Oh, they're talking about the ever something. The ever stuck. Well, they've gone off road. Uh, they're, they're, they're going off road. Take a left now. Ooh. Nice. Holy track drifting. It might be a chance. I mean, I don't know. It depends on how cohesive this line is. We're getting closer. I mean, we're still a click and a half, two clicks away. The intention was to turn down here, but I think we've uh, we've decided to go off road and chance flipping a vehicle. Are we doing off road? That's a good question. Say again. Why are we doing off road? Uh, I don't want to get caught on the traffic cameras. That's the answer. Also, there is probably main base protection. Yeah, so if we need yeah. the radio, we can send this one. I thought all you had to do was destroy the radio. Nash be driving with a vengeance. There goes Dashby's element. Uh, looks like we have a dismount here. Trucks. But Dashby's going to establish the north part of the line. Uh, like I say, north to south. Uh, sorry about that, killer. You got a bit of a walk. Looks like this is going to be the de this dismount point. My truck guardians with me. Once everyone's on line and we have everyone in the, the area, we're just going to punch it. Uh, once we make contact, you guys can jump out of the trucks. Punch it, Chewy. I'm going to just slow walk away just to give us a bit of distance. How do you join these, Dusty? Welcome back. Um, if you're 18, you could join our. Uh, you can take a SOT basic course. I can go down that dry riverbed. Uh, when they're scheduled, they'll be on the calendar on our website. Just follow the count instructions. Uh, the count creation instructions there. Link your Discord in. Link your Steam account. And uh. Oh, okay. We got a funny guy in chat. Yeah, just keep you guys back with me, and then we'll, uh, they can move as soon as, they, as soon as they, we take contact, we just jump out and rush them. Yeah, watch out. Wait, is, is all three guys in the trucks? You just, uh... You don't have yeah. everyone in there. Yeah, basically. You don't have everyone. Just take you, it or something. Get, like, oh, okay. Just leave one guy in each truck, and then you can send the rest of your team in. I'm prepared. I'm like, prepared to you act. With me, and then contact, right, and then we jump right, out copy. and join you. Yeah. Alright, five. All right. Hustle up. Um, Hustle up. He's got the. He's got the thing. He's got the thing to run. Hard to run. Uh, 
Uh, now that we're getting closer, we could see that no INS have crossed the river west. That we can see at this point. Right, we're good. I'm gonna fly this way. Any disciplined players who go off on their own, uh, they don't get to participate. That's generally how that works. We uh, we try to keep the lone wolfing to a absolute minimum, and we're pretty particular on how we uh, want to, uh, you know, how we enforce that. Usually, if it causes, I'll just say this: if you're a bad person, command, what's that you're Am I gonna, continue to gonna get sniffed out pretty quick. Tight for everyone to catch up. Let's take a look at the, let's take a look at, on a brighter note, let's take a look at the uh, Super Fob on Radio Tower. They're limited to two HMGs and an SPG, but they have all the build points in the world to do crazy things like razor wire. So all the razor wire is being built. Looks like they're really just going to play it really close. Yeah, you're right. It is kind of strange. The only lookout they have is Dentric, and he's watching a bridge. I think. The, well, think about this. The 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 rules are changed. The rules have changed. U.S. have trucks now. So I think INS is thinking, let's deploy the bridges because the vehicles might only be might only realistically cross the bridges. This group here might see these guys in the raw in the water. This group here might be high enough to see these guys in the water. I imagine they're deployed on the cliff. Yeah, so they got like 20, 30 meters of elevation from from the road here. Probably another five meters or less than five meters for the bridge or for the for the um, for the river, for the riverbed. Uh, the U.S. line is formed and it looks like they're pretty much in the channel they want to go for. They want to get on this hill, get uh, elevation so that they can support their elements moving up. INS might be. Th no, yeah, four squads. Uh, India ten four. Is that scalable from the riverside? Wait, so there is one squad out. So there is one squad out somewhere, I think. Unless maybe there's two squads here. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Like India eight two one, you can get up there. I think India nine five three slash six one, you can get up there. There's some spots where you can't, others where maybe you can if you're good enough, sort of thing. Let's take a look at more of the radio tower. We got uh, massive fortifications built here. Lots of sandbags. Not enough grenade traps. But then again, U.S. aren't going to have that much ammo to really just throw on the grenades. If you get up into that ridge that's coming up... INS, on the other hand, man... Look at this! Like, Sal's built himself a command post. Yeah. Although he's not commanding, William is commanding. Still seeing Revy uh, builds razor wire here southeast, and razor wire definitely gonna restrict U.S.'s movement. Gonna force him into specific channels. Frag damage passes <laughs> sandbags. Uh, I wonder. If, even if it does, I think there's. I mean, there's a lot of variability on the surface here. It might not touch the plane of the frag damage, unless frag damage is like spherical. Because my understanding is that frag damage doesn't clip through map geometry. So like if a frag like if I was here and I was completely prone and a frag went off here, I'm pretty sure I'm good. Because that would be weird if it went through frag geometry. Uh US across the river. No posture change in INS. And it's definitely far enough away that Lagar and Dedrick did not see it. For the most part, yeah. Taking down barbed wire takes amount of time to same amount of time to build it up. Uh, probably, but you won't have to dig it down the whole way. Uh, remember, barbed wire the last stage is when the when the fences connect. So all you gotta do is tuck it, dig at it for a little bit. But we, they also take damage. 
So a frag grenade might actually do a lot of damage to a razor wire. It probably digs it down out of the top state, the, the third stage. If you think stakes and then second stage is when the razor wire is wrapped around the stakes. The third stage is when the razor wire is actually stretched across the stakes. I think a grenade would take it out of stage three, move it down stage two. U.S. getting close in to 300 meters of contact, and Stevo is on the point, on the bleeding edge. Meanwhile, Dentric might have eyes on Element down here to the south. Hi, guys. I wonder if Phil... No, Phil's not even looking. Oh, they're skylining, and they're not looking. However, that would be amazing if Dentric and Lagar, Lagar saw them from here. It's just a bit over... Uh, it's a bit over, it's a bit under 200 meters, but I think because the uh, sandstorm is kicked up enough down here, because of the elevation, I think it is impairing visibility significantly. Uh, maybe from here, they might be able to see shapes. But I can't see them, and I'm, and I've got the infinite zoom right here. Apocalypse looking in the right direction, though. They run down that hill, they're going to see them. Oh, here comes the main assault. Three squads wide, plus one in reserve, and... I mean, you got hot nose looking then, right? Uh... One, three, four. Is another squad lead over here? I'm sending a buddy team, sorry, a fire team. Am I missing a number? Screen any counter attacks from that side. From that side. Yeah, good Four. One, two, five, four. I don't even oh, hear is Blackbeard three? Blackbeard might be three. Because we've got to start running. It's going to be a long way. I feel like there should be like one more squad on US side. I'm, yeah, I'm missing someone. They probably spotted us. And... <laughs> well, I mean, they're basically running up to the shelf here. Zero visibility because of obstruction. This is going to be. I don't know. I don't know about this play, guys. Uh, the elemental wraps east might have a chance to get guys, fighting, but like one, right? if you get into contact, everybody's here. Maximum aggression, maximum firepower, grenades, everything. Push hard. We need to take the. It's like Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, guys. Everybody's here. Look, they even built razor wire down the hill to draw them in. <laughs> they've even blocked. They've blocked this off, actually. My guys have eyes uh, sandbags. <sighs> squad three FDL crap. Okay. Well, I mean, but, okay, I should still be able to see a three on the thing here. I should still see a three. There should still be a three on top of a letter, on top of a symbol. It must be uh, a rather, a rather uh, obscure bug. Oh, and shots fired. There we go, the hail of bullets flies. Blackbeard orders full send. INS looking for US tracers and firing back. MG3 is opening up at range. Grenades going off near Londarts. Only three squads on the line for US against the entire INS force. Grenade kills Paladin, a squad lead is dead. Leading from the front, big shrug. Lots of fire, not a lot of hits. Only two kills for INS so far, zero for US forces. Digit has pushed himself uh, in a questionable position. Skeleton Killer J on the east side have broken or looking for a place to break through the line and they found one an abandoned post Lads, I need this. we need to be up and out i'm fragging smoke i don't give a fuck get in there blackbeard wants action Dude. wait the command is dead wow. william is dead 
Why? Highness Commander dies. It's like the first U uh, first U.S. kill on this map. Exoskeleton gets cut down. Ishmi and Salty Toast are looking for everyone coming through. Grenades flying. Multiple KIA. Killer chain spirits go down. It's turning up bad for U.S. forces. All the smoke is lagging me out. Still no packet loss yet. Uh, crossed fingers. Knock on wood. Everybody knock on wood. We don't need a packet loss dump here. Grenades from U.S. forces now finding some targets. x got hit. I got tagged by one, but he's still up. Arndart's really trying to help. U.S. is, uh, U.S. pretty strong. Dude is spinning in a di <laughs> Who is this? I need to document this. Greenpeace unbound the speed limit of his mouse and is now spinning. Very cool. Very mature. Uh, we're still moving up, though. The island of bushes has been taken over by U.S. forces. Lots of progress. A lot more progress than I expected U.S. to make. Free Stalker and Steve are dead. That's a squad lead dead. More smoke's coming in. U.S. need to smoke in advance, but they need more support. East si or West Side Hills, uh, they're trying to cl just climb the, the sheer cliff face here to mixed results. They are throwing grenades, causes Alpha to fall back, but everyone else is still manning their position. Smoke's coming in, and grenades coming downhill. Oh yeah, that was definitely a kill there. Down to five if given one now. Razor wires usual play on this map. Uh, Ines had a lot more time to prepare for this assault, so that's why you're seeing the razor wire. The razor wire definitely effective though. It forces U.S. to go around. They don't have engineers to clear multiple obstructions. Numbers are uh, going badly. 24 kills to INS, so 11 for US. Didn't see it last round, probably because we didn't really, I mean, last round we didn't see a lot of building. There was enough building around the around the radio tower itself. Now, if you had a grenade, you could get some kills. Dix Falk gets lasered by Kilsu, and Kilsu has a decent spot here. Able to put some uh, fire into the side of this INS position, but gotta be able to see him to shoot him. INS still very comfortable with a north, with like a squad still hanging in the north, looking for people to shoot, and they ain't gonna see anyone. But it looks like we're gonna see a, uh, a counterclockwise movement here, similar to what we saw last round. U.S. getting cut down on this assault. Pretty sure uh, Blackbeard's dead. Oh wait, Blackbeard's not dead. He's uh, charging the hill. Straight up to Alpha Guido. Alpha shoots Kilsu. Uh, does Blackbeard see Alpha? Yes. Does Gordo see Blackbeard? No, he's bandaging. Almost TK'd, and there's a, was that TK? No, it was Fisco shooting up the hill from behind. Great day. US uh, definitely, uh, more momentum is now stalled. Rather significantly, squad six, oddball, now rolling around counterclockwise from the north. Down to about a squad and a half for US forces. I think, yeah, Ines just hit 30 kills. Ines too prepared. Greg Pence just gets one tapped by, I imagine, Silas. Throw, Silas, throw, adding more shots. Throw, Could be Hovis as well. You gotta add some. I actually might have been Hovis. Fire team leaders, please put down your ammo bags. Let them resupply the smokes and the fuel tanks. Inus have scouts. Uh, no. Inus had no eyes until contact was initiated east side by an AR. Oh, stay alive. Sasa got smoke. blipped there. Lego also blipped, and the uh, Dishka is now being manned by Pipe Punk and is just throwing suppression. Yeah, Ines probably didn't see the approach until 
until uh, the east side guys that wrapped around started taking AR fire. And then there was the halo bullets that ensued. Salty Toast Ishmi and uh, Revy is still holding this uh, east side. They have not budged. Twisty gets nailed by Ishmi. Pretty sure that was Ishmi. Yeah. G3. Down to a fire team west and a buddy team east for U.S. forces below a squad in number. Salty Toast nails Reaper. Apocalypse still looking for his help. His buddy's gone. Lego's dead. Sasa and Kimchi is trying. They're trying to wrap around uh, east. Uh, Koba. Yeah, I don't know. I was still getting suppressed by Cappy on the gun. Almost hit, almost shredded his teammates there. And U.S. is surrounded. Barbed wire to their south and INS east, west, and north. A uh, buddy team is stopping them from exfilling east. Koba gets smacked. Chicken's going to run up on him here. Looking for a knife. Gets it. Chicken with a knife. Very Mimi. I like. Kimchi Sasa, Co Cuba, Cuba trying to run down the hill. Apocalypse is still up though. Apocalypse got tagged. Lots of fire being traded here and Apocalypse finally eats the Dishka straight in the face. Down to three US forces remaining here. Frag's going on, Sasa's are on that position and uh, ooh, one goes down. So just Sasa and uh, Cuba. Nothing does is dead. Whoops. I guess uh, Koopa got, got some kills over here. Oh, here comes Chicken. Looking for kill number two. Are you crawling? Are you running? Knife kill! Oh, no. Yes. And then the trade into Chicken. The trade into Koopa. Chicken with two knives, though. Chicken, dare I say it, the legend. Koopa takes Gimli's head off, but is getting engaged at range. Got a bandage on the move here and try to get a little bit more uh, time in before he dies. Looking for people to come up down the hill. And Uptown is actually... Uh, Uptown looks down, which I don't think he will. INS forces closing in on Koopa's position. Koopa's gonna run up to a line here. <laughs> Look at this line. So pure. Uh, Greenpeace gets destroyed and Koopa trades with Zaki. Oddball nails Koopa there at the end. Uh, INS, 42 kills. To US is 26. And that's round two. And almost a TK at the end. Redibus almost killed himself with his own nade. Very cool. That was a uh, a nice crazy round there to end festivities for this afternoon. Chicken with those knives there, that's that's pretty funny, I gotta say. I like. Uh but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching.